We're here at the Sea Otter Classic checking out all the latest tech in the pits. And today we're going to take you through some of the really weird and wonderful creations about. Starting right here with this Marin Wolf Ridge with a custom paint job from Lone Wolf. You can actually win this bike here. Just have a look at this thing. So this particular bike's got a really unusual suspension system on there. So it's got the React 3 system, which is essentially two things in one. You've got a telescopic strut here in combination with the linkage. And what that does is enable a mechanical pedal platform. So the bike pedals like it's virtually a hardtail, but the suspension works the entire time in doing so. It's a really bold bike and it really works well. But look at the paint job on this thing. Detail on that, the way it's been airbrushed is absolutely stunning. You can't deny that kids bikes are definitely getting better. We're seeing so many of them here at the Sea Otter Classic and this little mini Mondraker factor with 24 inch wheels has 90 mil of rear wheel travel. And check this out, check how active that is. It fully works and the 10 year old ripper that rides this, he's even blown off his O-ring on the back there so he's absolutely ripping. Something that's really, really progressive and good about this particular bike is it, it's got a 26 inch fork on it and it's got plenty of clearance here so the rider can grow with the bike. So really, the kids are the future. We've got to see more stuff like this and hopefully we're going to find a few more rad little kids bikes. All right, so this is nothing to do with mountain bikes whatsoever but this is the coolest looking bike I've seen here at Sea Otter. It's kind of like a cafe racer, electric pub bike from what I can work out. I want one of these to ride to work on every day. This looks so cool. Wandering around CRT, you bump into a whole amazing bunch of bikes, some old, some new, and some really good retro bikes like this titanium frame light speed that's got the AMP research back end on it. So this is one of the earliest suspension designs in mountain biking with the horse link on the chainstay and that McPherson strut. It's so old, it's actually new because a lot of bike companies have gone back to using that classic four bar linkage. GT are doing it, like everyone is starting to go back to it because it worked so well and it gives you braking power under suspension action. Nothing sort of affects the bike. Of course, the light speed, really famous for making titanium frames and to be honest, the condition of this still looks amazing. The kids do not know how good they have it. Check this little shredder out, brand little shredder model. It's called the Prodigy 20 inch wheel, full suspension bike. You've got FSA headset, Shimano Z cranks on there, race face chainring. This is such a trick little bike and I think this is partially thanks to little riders like Jackson Goldson, the guy from Whistler, who's been one of the most amazing young rippers around there. And of course, there's a number of bike brands as we're seeing here, just coming up with these amazing little bikes. They get a real good sense of what mountain bike is about from an early age. None of this sort of heavy steel bikes that I grew up having to ride. Next generation have got some amazing tech. I think we'll have to do something a bit more in depth on kids bikes over on GMBM because <laughs> they're amazing. All right, so this one has got a cool mod on here. I mean, that is definitely a top mod in my eyes. Z cranks, they cut down and they've re-tapped and they've just sort of machined the end off them. So they look like a finished product. But of course, proper crank, proper chaining setup on a kid's bike. Just amazing, absolutely love it. So this has definitely got to be one of the most wild things I've seen at the show. So it's an E-fat downhill bike. It's got the world's first emerald fat fork on the front there. The specs on this are quite insane, 230 mil travel on this thing. It'll do 45 kilometers per hour, thanks to 3,000 watts it kicks out. What do you think of this? This is nuts. So the back end on this is full CNC construction, got a roll off hub on there, and it's got 100 mile range on this thing. I said 45 kilometers an hour a minute ago. I'm wrong, it's 45 miles an hour. Talk about cool kids bikes, the Commonsell range are probably the coolest of the lot, the Supremes. I've got that whole common cell Andorra thing going on. This is a little 20 inch. Look at that rad little single speed. The Rock Shocks, baby sized Monarch shock on the back there. Really good suspension platform actually on that. They've got a 24 as well. Here it goes, bad boy. Bike park ready. It's got a really cool gnarly Kenda tires on there. And of course, it's got a regular 27 and a half. That's to get a bit bigger. Catering for the whole family. I just love this kids bike thing so much, especially when they're as good as that. Imagine having a bike like that when you were that age. It's just nuts. We've just come past the SDG booth, that speed defies gravity. And they just showed us this really cool sort of junior shredders kit, specifically designed for kids. So you've got the mini saddle here. You've got these tiny little lock-on grips, which are amazing. The handlebar is actually a rapid prototype at the moment, but it's a 19 millimeter outside diameter. So the regular one's 22.2. So it just takes into account those really small hands, so giving them a proper platform. And probably the coolest thing of the lot, is these mini little pedals with chrome molly axles and replaceable pins. How cool are they? Special for little rippers. Would you believe what I've just found here? Of course, it's a wooden bikes, which of course our Sea Otter is no surprise because you see all the weird and wonderful things. 
have to say though, jokes aside, the quality on these is absolutely amazing. And I super appreciate it. It's been doing a bit of woodwork myself on the house and that finish is pretty mind blowing actually, to be honest. But this place is amazing. It's full of all the weirdest stuff you can possibly imagine. And of course, loads of wonderful tech too. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Let us know what your favorite things were. Let us know what the things are you're not too sure about in those comments below. For a couple more Sea Otter videos packed with stuff, click down here for all the tech we saw on day one. And if you want to see what the coolest trail bikes are that we saw right here, click down there. As always, click on that round globe to subscribe. And if you like Sea Otter and liked all this rad stuff we've been checking out, give us a thumbs up.